Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Stanley Parrish. Uh, today, I'm going to show you real quickly how to create uh, coupons in Adobe InDesign CS5. Uh, this is a beginner tutorial, so all you InDesign gurus out there probably already know this technique. Uh, but for everybody else, let's get to it. Okay, so right now I'm in Photoshop and I created this graphic. Uh, we won't get into how I created it. Um, it's very simple. Uh, as you can see here, but this is just my graphic I'm going to be using uh, for InDesign. So let's head on over to InDesign real quick. Okay. Um, what you want to do now is go to File, Place, and uh, I'm going to choose my Kobe header.psd file. And I'm just going to just click right in here, drag it all the way up to the top. Okay. Now all I want to do is just throw some coupons on this baby here and call it a day. Um, okay. Uh, next, get to type two and just go down to the bottom here. And we're just gonna scroll across here. All right. And next, what you want to do is go to table insert table okay what well, hold on just wait a minute let's let's go back let's go back here okay I know some of you are like okay why do I have to do all of that uh, just here just, just to create a coupon when all I have to do is drag out a box and just add an outline to it a dashed outline right yes you could do it that way um, you can just copy it and duplicate it over and over again like that. Um, but I think this other way looks a little better. So, all right, take your type tool again and just drag across your page here. Okay. Next, go to table, insert table. And I'm just gonna, you can choose whatever you want here. I'm gonna choose two rows and four columns. Uh, hit OK. You can see here I have my uh, two rows of table sales here. And I want them bigger. So we're gonna just select uh, all of our sales here. I'll go back up to table, hit cell options, and we're gonna go to rows and columns. Okay row height we're gonna choose exactly and we're just gonna just just make it you know whatever size you want um, let's see okay that's looking pretty good uh, hit okay uh, forgot. okay let's go back to cell options again and this one go to uh, strokes and fields we want to change the type of stroke we have to a dash stroke so let's choose type uh, dashed and we're going to make our weight two points uh, hit ok now there we have our uh, coupon and it's all neat okay next what you want to do here um, I downloaded some of Kobe Bryant's uh, shoes off of Google search you can find them so you just drag it over here like so and we're gonna drag our test over here like that and there you have a, a basic coupon and you can just copy it let's see uh, let's lock this down okay we're just gonna take this and just copy it over Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you have your basic coupon layout here um, for your mail advertisement. Uh, okay, there is one more thing that I want to show you. Let's say uh, you show this uh, to your boss or whoever, and he says, "You know what? I don't want all of my coupons, all my coupons, to be square." Um, 
let's make the one on the right side a vertical coupon okay it's, it's very easy to do all you want to do is select your sales right here on the end up grab your type 2 just click in here just okay oh it's locked unlock it okay now drag and select both of your cells on the right and go back up to table and hit uh, merge cells and merge both of your cells again now see you have a vertical ad here, vertical coupon. And you can just copy this over here and I'm gonna copy this over too. Now you have your vertical coupon. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you learned something. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next time.